Hi everyone! Welcome to Learn and Play! Today we're going to be counting cookies with Cookie Monster! Are you ready to learn numbers? And even some colors! Great! Me too! I have a feeling some of our favorite characters are going to be here. I'm excited to see who will visit us! Let's get started! Wow! What's that on the screen? Yeah, it's a cookie. It's a chocolate chip cookie. C is for cookie. And C is for Cookie Monster. Oh boy, look, it's Cookie Monster. He's got two eyes and a big mouth. And it's Sesame Street. Hey, what color is Cookie Monster? He's blue. Let's open it. Wow, look at all these numbers. This is so cool. Yum, and look at all those cookies. First, we are going to learn the numbers 1 to 10. Wow, look at this. We've got all the numbers and we've got the cookies. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yay, now let's go over each number. Here's the number one. It's a green number one. We have one worm. That's slimy. It's Oscar's worm. Next, it's the number two. This is a yellow number two. We have two bears. What number is next? The number three. This is an orange three. We have three ducks. Three yellow ducks. Now it's the number four. This is a red number four. Let's see what we have. We have four fish. Next, it's the number five. This five is blue. It's a blue number five. Hmm, we got five flies. Okay, what's next? It's the number six. This six is green. It's a green number six. Ooh, we've got six bats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six black bats. Next, it's the number seven. This is a yellow number seven. We have seven birds. Those are pigeons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's the number eight. This eight is orange. It's an orange number eight. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, this is Abby Cadabby's wand. We have eight of them. It's a magical wand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, we're almost at the end. Here's the number nine. 
This is a red number nine. I wonder what we're going to count. Look, it's some chickens. There are nine chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lot of chickens. Okay, we have one more number to go over. It's the number 10. This 10 is blue. The number 10 is 1 and 0. Oh, okay, look, we have 10 cookies for Cookie Monster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cookies! Wow, we did it! We counted from 1 to 10. Let's count one more time just to be sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We did it. Okay, now we have the cookies. Let's see the colors. Green, yellow, orange, red, and blue. And again, green, yellow, orange, red, and blue. Want to see who's hiding underneath? Who could be there? Ooh, it's a green cookie and has green Oscar the Grouch. And look, even Slimy is there, his pet worm. This cookie is green, just like Oscar the Grouch. Now we have a yellow cookie. Who could be here? Wow, it's Big Bird. Big Bird is yellow. The yellow cookie is just like Big Bird. It's yellow. Next, it's the orange cookie. Who could be here? It's Ernie. Look, he's orange, just like the orange cookie. Orange Ernie, orange cookie. Now we have a red cookie. Who could be here? Oh, I think I know. It's Elmo. It's a red cookie and a red Elmo. They match. Who could be hiding under the blue cookie? Hmm. It's Grover. Grover is blue. And our cookie is blue. Blue Grover, blue cookie. Now we have another green cookie. Let's see who's here. Oh, look, it's the count. And it's a green cookie. The green cookie matches the green border and the green collar. Who will be under the second yellow cookie? Hmm. Oh, it's Bert. Bert is yellow. And our cookie is yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. So now we have the two friends, Bert and Ernie. I wonder who else is here. Let's look under the orange cookie. Oh, it's Abby Cadabby. It's an orange cookie and an orange border. Abby is pink with purple and pink hair. Let's see who's under this red cookie. Red cookie, Snuffy. This red cookie looks delicious. It matches the red border. Snuffy is Big Bird's best friend. He's so cute. We have one last cookie to look under. It's blue. Who do you think it is? I think it might be Cookie Monster. What do you think? It is. It's Cookie Monster. He's blue like this blue cookie. What is your favorite color? Wow, I love that color too. 
My favorite color is green. Well, we did it. We learned all these colors, met all these characters, and even learned numbers. Now it's time to help Cookie Monster. Let's help him count cookies. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's count the cookies. This is a green cookie. There is one cookie. Now we have some yellow cookies. Let's count them. One, two. There are two yellow cookies. Now we have some orange cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three. There are three orange cookies. Now we have some red cookies. Why don't we count them? One, two, three, four. There are four red cookies. Now we have some blue cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. We have five blue cookies. Now we have some more green cookies. Why don't we count them together? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six green cookies. Wow, now we have some yellow cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven yellow cookies. Look, now we have orange cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight orange cookies. Now we have some red cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine red cookies. Now we have blue cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we have ten blue cookies for Cookie Monster. Now stay tuned for some Play-Doh fun. Today's episode is going to be so much fun. Can you recognize some of those furry monsters? They're from Sesame Street. Hey, have you ever played with Play-Doh? We're going to make animals with it. And best of all, they're going to be all different colors. Which color is your favorite? Wow, I love that color too. Well, I think we should get started. I'm too excited. I just can't wait. Wow, did you see that? Who is that? Do you know her name? It's Abby Kadabby. She's a magical girl. She'll say abracadabra and wave her wand and do some magic. Woohoo, let's get started. So we have Abby here. She's, look at her little face. It's so cute how they put the sticker on top too. She's got her pigtails. All right, let's open it. Now we just got to take out the Play-Doh. Okay, here it is. It's squishy. Can you tell me what color this is? Yeah, it's pink. 
we're going to take our roller and roll it out as flat as possible. So it's smooth and very flat. That looks good, perfect. Now I'm going to take my animal mold. Look at this one. Okay, so we have to put it down and squish it down so the mold comes out and take any excess out. It's like a cookie cutter mold. And then this is a top, so we're going to get an animal. And you're gonna have to guess what it is. Make sure to press down and be careful lifting it. All right. All right, I'm so excited. Are you ready to see? Wow, look at that. What animal is that? It's a little pig. It's a baby pig. It's a piglet. Let's see how to spell pig. Do you know what letter pig starts with? It starts with P, the letter P. P, P, P. Pig. Would you like to see what a real pig looks like? Look, there she is. Oh, so cute. This pig is pink with black spots and her nose is called a snout. Do you know what sound pigs make? They oink. That's the sound of a pig. Can you oink with me? Oh, that was so funny. You can also just say oink, 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 like a little piggy. Are you ready to see who's next? Oh, who is that? Who's smiling like that? It's Oscar the Grouch. Oscar lives in a trash can and he doesn't like anybody. Here he is. Look at his bushy eyebrows, big smile. Oh, there he is on the top, too. Adorable. Oscar is my favorite, actually. It's funny they say he's grouchy, because look at that big smile. Let's open it and see what the Play-Doh looks like. Okay, can you tell me what color this is? It's green, just like Oscar. Now I'm trying to soften the Play-Doh. You just squish it between your hands. It's better now. Okay, let's put it down, squish it down, and roll it out. Make it nice and flat. Keep going. All right, that looks good. <laughs> let's see. Okay, our next cookie mold. Hmm, let me find it. Here it is. What do you think this is? All right, let's put it down. You have to press it down to make sure it goes through the Play-Doh and take all the excess Play-Doh out. And then you get your top and you press it down. You just wanna make sure that it's gonna come out. So you wanna press it down a few times, make sure it's good. And now we take it apart. Be careful taking it off. All right, are you ready? Oh, what is that? It's an elephant. Look at his big trunk and the big ears. Would you like to see how to spell elephant? There it is. That's how you spell elephant. Do you know what letter it starts with? Is that an F? No, it's an E. Elephant starts with the letter E. E for elephant. Let's see what a real elephant looks like. Here it is. See the one on the left? That's an elephant. It's got a long trunk and big ears. Elephants are very large. They can weigh thousands of pounds. Wow, I can't believe they can be that big. Do you know what sound elephants make? Listen. That was so loud. That sound comes from the trunk. 
It's called a trumpet. I love elephants. All right, let's take a look at who's next. Can you guess who that is? He's everyone's favorite. Elmo! Elmo is Abby's best friend. Did you know that he recently adopted a puppy? Her name is Tango. She's so cute. Here we have the Elmo Play-Doh. What color is Elmo? Yeah, he's red. Look at his nose. It's so big. Do you see it there? All right, let's open this one. Oh, that's a nice shade of red. Ooh, it takes so long to take that Play-Doh out. But here we have it. Look, it's a nice red. Uh, it gets a little messy, so remember that. All right, we got to get it all soft. I think it's good now. Let's put it down. We're going to roll it out like before. Roll it, roll it. This Play-Doh is almost the same color as my mat. All right, we got to get our animal mold. Where is it? Here it is. What do you think this is? Let's put it down. We have to press down all the way down through the Play-Doh and take out any excess. You could use the extra for something else. All right, now we have the top part. You have to make sure that you press it down. That way you can see everything. Okay, take it out carefully. All right, are you ready? Let's see what it is. Ooh, do you know this animal? It's a rooster. Let's see how to spell rooster. Rooster starts with the letter R. R for rooster. Are you ready to see a real rooster? Here it is. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's the sound of a rooster crowing. They usually do that in the morning, but they also do it all day long. Do you see what's on top of the rooster's head? That's called a comb. And underneath is a waddle. Who do we have here? Can you guess this guy's name? It's Bert. Bert has a unibrow. His eyebrows are one. And do you know his best friend? It's Ernie. Bert and Ernie. We'll see him later. There's Bert. You see that unibrow I was talking about? And he's got a big nose. It's orange. And hey, what color is he? I would say it's marigold. It's like a dark yellow, almost orange. Let's open this one. See the color? Let's take it out. All right, this Play-Doh is such a pretty color. It's a yellowish orange. Let's put it down. We have to roll it out again. Sometimes it's a little hard to roll out because it sticks. Maybe there are some tips for that. I have to look it up. Okay, it's flat enough now. We're going to get our mold. All right. Hmm, what's this one? Okay, put it down. Press down. Take everything that's extra out. And then you have to get the top and you have to press down again. Okay, a little bit on each side. Sometimes the bigger ones you have to do with two hands. Make sure it's okay. And take it off. Which animal do you think this one will be? 
I'm excited to see. Let's see. Wow, what's this one? What do you think that is? It's a tiger. He's laying down. Let's see how to spell tiger. Tiger starts with the letter T. T, 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 tiger. Let's see what a real tiger looks like. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at its stripes. A tiger is a jungle cat. He's a much bigger cat than a little kitty cat you have at home. There's even a tiger that's all white with stripes. He's called a white tiger. Now listen closely to hear what a tiger sounds like. It's called a tiger growl. Time for the next monster. Do you know the name of this monster? He's blue and his name is Cookie Monster. That's because he loves cookies. He can be seen eating cookies all day long for breakfast, lunch, and even dinner. Here we have the Cookie Monster Play-Doh. Look at his big eyes, the googly eyes, and a big, big smile. He is so much fun. He loves to eat, and mostly cookies, like I said before. Let's open. This blue looks just like Cookie Monster's fur. So now that you're familiar with how to take out the Play-Doh and make it soft and roll it, then I'll just fast forward through that part. But we'll still look at the animal impression because I think that's fun, we could see it, and work on that together. Okay, so here we go. We're going to press this one down. I'm so excited to see what animal this one will be. Are you ready? Okay, make sure it's good, go slow, and take it off, I'm excited. Wow, what is that? Do you know the name of this animal? Is it a bear? Mm, no, I don't think so. It's a hippo or hippopotamus. Let's see how to spell hippo. Hippo is the shortened version of hippopotamus, but we'll just look at the shortened version. So this word starts with the letter H. H for hippo. Wow, look at that. That's a real hippo. What color is he? Well, the real one is gray, and of course our Play-Doh one is blue. Hippos are the third largest animals in the world. They make a honking sound or growling sound. I don't have it, and I don't know how to do it, but you could just imagine. Who will be next? Do you know this character? It's Big Bird. Big Bird is yellow and he has so many feathers. He lives in a big nest on Sesame Street. Here we have the Big Bird Play-Doh. It's so yellow. Whenever I see Big Bird, I just can't help but smile. He's so happy looking. Look at his big beak. Did you know that Big Bird is super tall? He's over eight feet tall. Okay, let's get this Play-Doh out. All right, we have our cookie cutter mold. What do you think this is? Let's put it down and press. Take out any extra Play-Doh. 
Where's our top? Okay, this has to go on top. And we have to press down firmly. I'm, I'm really excited about this one because I love yellow. All right, let's see this. Okay, make sure it's good. Ooh. One, two, three. Oh. Ooh, what is this one? That's a lion. Why don't we see how to spell lion? Here it is. This is how you spell lion. Do you know what letter it starts with? It's an L. L for lion. Oh my, was that a lion roaring? Ooh, it's loud. Do you see that beautiful lion on the left? That's what a male lion looks like. He has a big mane. That's all that fur and hair around his face. He's a big jungle cat. One, two, three. <gasps> ha, ha, ha. It's the Count. Count Von Count. Do you know why they call him the Count? Yeah, you got it. It's because he likes to count. He counts the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here's the Play-Doh. You see Count's face? He has a big purple nose. Let's take a look what color this Play-Doh is. Oh, it's black, like his bats. Let's take it out. Here's our next cookie mold. Hmm. All right. I'm not sure what this one is. We have to take a look. Put it down. Take out the excess. The black one's a little messy. It's all in my nails. Don't forget the top part. That's where you see the animal. You press it down all around. Okay, are you ready? Say yeah. Whoa. That's so cute. Do you know what animal that is? It's a zebra. A cute little zebra with stripes. That's how you spell zebra. Zebra starts with the letter Z. Z is the last letter in the alphabet. Z for zebra. Look at that beautiful zebra. It has stripes that are black and white. Did you know that the sound a zebra makes is almost like a dog barking? I don't know how to do it. Maybe I'll have to go find a zebra and see how they sound. I can't believe it. We have another Sesame Street character. What's this one's name? Do you know it? It's one of the honkers. We're going to call him Honker, since there's only one. All right, here it is. Here's the Play-Doh. See the honker on it? <laughs> what he does is he honks his nose and the sound comes out of his ears. While I open this container, why don't you think about what color this is? It's purple. Here's our animal. Do you know which one this might be? Let's press it down and let's take a look. Take out all the extra. Here's the top. 
Press it down as always. Okay, that, that should be good. Are you ready? Let's lift it up. Ooh, I think I know what this is. Do you know? Yeah, it's a cow. Let's see how to spell cow. There it is. That's how you spell cow. C-O-W. It starts with the letter C. Why don't we take a look at a real cow? Well, first of all, our purple cow is adorable. I've seen a purple cow on some chocolate. And I've seen a purple cow in a commercial once. But real cows aren't purple, are they? Look at that one on the left. It's brown and white. And some cows are black and white. And I think there's different colored cows, just all brown or gray. Hey, do you know what sound cows make? Let's listen. Ooh, can you do that? Can you moo with me like a cow? Let's give it a try. Moo! Moo! That was great! I can't wait to see who's next. Oh, wow! Who is that? Remember, this is Bert's friend. Yeah, it's Ernie! Bert and Ernie. Here we go. Here's Ernie. He's got such a big smile. And look at his hair. Do you know what color this Play-Doh is? Let's open it and find out. Oh, look. It's orange. Look at this animal mold. Hmm, I wonder what this one is. Let's press it down. Make sure to always be careful. See how this one's not coming off easily? Um, okay, now it's okay. Here's the top. And this one you gotta press all over because it's kind of different in the shape than all the other ones we've had. Do you have any guesses on what this one might be? Let's see. Okay, are you ready? Hmm, here it is. Wow. I think I know this one. Yeah, it's a giraffe. Here we have the spelling of giraffe. It starts with the letter G. G for giraffe. Okay, now we're going to look at a real giraffe. Wow, its neck is so long. And look at all its spots. Do you know why giraffe's necks are so long? It's so they can eat the leaves on all the trees. Look at our cute little orange giraffe. It's a baby. Here we are again. Who is that? Have you ever seen this character on Sesame Street? That's Ovahita. She's a sheep. Hey, look at her. Look at those big ears she has. She's like a tan color with white fur. I wonder what color this Play-Doh will be. Let's take a look. Oh, look, it's white. Let's take it out. Here we go. I'm wondering what animal this will be. Let's cut it out and take a look. Okay, remember anything excess you could put on the side for later. You can make a few of them even. 
This is the top part. Let's press it down like we've always been doing. Make sure it's pressed down well. Okay, I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, I thought this was going to be the animal we'd get. Do you know what animal this is? It's a cute little sheep. Here is the spelling of sheep. It starts with the letter S. S for sheep. Did you hear that sound? That's the sound of a sheep. It goes ba ba. Why don't you try it? Oh, that sounded really good. Do you see the fur on that sheep? It's white and it's called wool. You can make many things from wool, like clothing. Let's see who's next. Okay, I think I know who this is. Do you have any idea who it is? It's Snuffy, or Mr. Snuffleupagus. If you remember from before, Snuffy is Big Bird's best friend. Okay, here we have the Snuffy Play-Doh. Do you know what color it is? It's brown, just like Snuffy. And look at his long eyelashes. Oh, look at that brown. Let's take it out. Okay, I got the mold already. You want to press it down, make sure it's going straight through the Play-Doh like that. So you get, oh, let's take out the extra. Here's the top, wonder what it is. Press it firmly. Do you have any idea of what it might be? I have a few guesses, let's see if I'm right. All right, careful. Let's see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, do you know what this is? It's a little monkey. It's a little brown monkey. Monkey starts with the letter M. M for monkey. Would you like to see what a real monkey looks like? Look at that. There's a little monkey in the tree. It's also a brown monkey. But monkeys could be different colors. There's black monkeys, and I think there's some gray monkeys out there. Let's listen, and maybe we'll hear a monkey. <coughs> oh, did you hear that? That's what a monkey sounds like. It goes, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Can you try that? Let's say, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Good job. I think we're on our last one. Who will it be? Oh, it's Grover. He likes to fly around with a cape on like a superhero. We've got the Grover Play-Doh. Super Grover. Look at his big smile and that round nose. What color is this Play-Doh? It's blue, like Grover. Let's open it. Okay, we have the last animal mold. Hmm, I can't tell what this one is, but let's see. We're gonna press it down, remove any extra Play-Doh for later. Here's the top. 
Press it down. Let's see. I'm kind of sad this is the last one we're doing today. But maybe we'll make another video another time. Okay, do you want to see what this one is? Let's take it off. Ooh. Wow, it's a beautiful blue horse. This word starts with the letter H. H for horse. Why don't we take a look at a real horse? Here it is. There's two horses there. A mama horse and a baby horse. The baby horse is called a fowl. Horses have a long mane and a long tail. And they like to gallop in the fields. Do you know what sound horses make? They neigh. Let's listen. Wow, that was so cool. I can't believe it. We finished. Look at all those animals made of Play-Doh. There are so many colors. Which one is your favorite? Oh, I like that one too. I think mine is the elephant. And what color is that elephant? It's green. Wow, we really learned a lot today. And we saw so many Sesame Street characters. Today, we're going to go over the months of the year with Elmo and Cookie Monster and all of their friends. Let's get started. But before we do, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Did you know that there are 12 months in a year? Yeah, there are 12 months. I'm going to tell you all about them with the help of some furry monsters. First up, it's Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is blue. And speaking of cookies, each month will have cookies that go along with that month. And I bet Cookie Monster is going to eat all of them. So, do you know what the first month is? Cookie Monster will tell us. It's January. January is the first month of the year. January starts with the letter J. In the United States, January is part of winter. The season winter. So, what do we do in winter if there's snow? We make snowman. So look at those cookies. How cute are they? And you can have some hot cocoa with them on a cold day. Oh, look at that. It's Elmo. What color is Elmo? Elmo is red. He will tell us about the second month of the year. It's February. February is the second month of the year. February starts with the letter F. Do you know which holiday we celebrate in February? It's Valentine's Day. Have you ever made a Valentine's Day card? Yeah, me too. Look at those cookies. What shape are they? They're hearts. They look so delicious. And I love how they're decorated. Whoa, here's Oscar the Grouch in his trash can. Oscar is the color green. And his trash can is silver or gray. He's going to tell us about the third month of the year. March is the third month of the year. Do you recognize the first letter of the word March? It's the letter M. M for March. In March, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Those cookies are in the shape of shamrocks. They're green. Up next, it's Big Bird. What color is Big Bird? He's yellow. 
And what about his feet? They're orange. Big Bird will help us with the fourth month of the year. April is the fourth month of the year. April starts with the letter A. A for April. In April, we usually celebrate Easter. That's when the Easter Bunny comes, and we can do egg hunts, and we have cookies like these that are decorated in pastel colors. They look so pretty, don't you think? Now, magical Abby Kadabby is going to tell us about the fifth month of the year. Hey, can you tell me what color her dress is? It's blue. And what about her hair? It's pink. The fifth month of the year is May. May starts with the letter M. M for May. Did you ever hear the saying, April showers bring May flowers? Whoa, look at all those flowers. On the teacup and on those cookies. That looks so beautiful. Hey there, Ernie. Look at him waving. And look at his fun shirt. It's all striped. He's the color orange with a red nose. Ernie will tell us about the sixth month of the year. It's June. June is the sixth month of the year. June starts with the letter J. J for June. Did you know that summer starts in June? Look at that. That's a cookie that says summertime. And I see some lemon tea. I also love some refreshing lemonade in summer. Now we have Bert. Bert is Ernie's best friend. Bert will tell us about the seventh month of the year. Hey, what color is Bert's outfit? It's green with stripes. I see some orange stripes and some navy blue stripes. The seventh month of the year is July. July starts with the letter J. J for July. Can you think of a holiday we celebrate in July? Yeah, it's 4th of July or Independence Day. Look at some of those cookies. What shapes do you see? Yeah, there's stars. And I see some flags. That's the flag of the United States of America. It's red, white, and blue. I love watching fireworks on the 4th of July. Do you? Hey, it's Grover. Grover is blue. And his nose is pink. Grover will tell us about the 8th month of the year. August is the 8th month of the year. Do you know what letter August starts with? Yes, it's the letter A. A for August. In August, I love to enjoy some summertime treats like the ice cream sundae or some fresh fruit. And look at that cookie. It's so colorful. I better eat it before Cookie Monster gets his hands on it. Here comes Zoe dancing into the room in her ballerina outfit. Zoe is orange and her tutu is pink. She will help us learn about the ninth month of the year. September is the ninth month of the year. September starts with the letter S. S for September. Did you know that autumn starts in September? It's my favorite season. I love when the leaves fall from the trees and we can have pumpkin everything. Look at those cute cookies. 
What animal is that? It's a fox. And look at that cool mug. It's in the shape of a pumpkin. It's orange with a green handle. Ha ha ha. It's the count. The count is purple. What month do you think he'll help us with? The 10th month, which is October. October starts with the letter O. O for October. Now, can you think about a holiday we celebrate in October? Specifically on October 31st. Yeah, it's Halloween. Do you like to dress up for Halloween? Me too. Look at those cookies. They're little orange jack-o'-lanterns. And look at that cup of tea next to another jack-o'-lantern. That's so much fun. Here comes Snuffy. Snuffy is brown. And look at his eyebrows. They're black. He's so cute. He's going to tell us about the 11th month of the year. November is the 11th month of the year. November starts with the letter N. N for November. One of my favorite holidays is during November. It's Thanksgiving. I love turkeys. Wow, look at all those cookies. They're in the shape of a pumpkin pie. And there's little leaves and even pumpkins. That's so festive. And I love the little pumpkin mug again. Thanksgiving is a great time to get together with your family and be grateful for everything you have. Look at that! It's Gonger! What color is Gonger? He's pink! And what about his nose? It's blue. Gonger will tell us about the last month of the year, the 12th month. December is the 12th month of the year. December starts with the letter D. D for December. My very favorite holiday is in December. It's Christmas. Do you like Christmas too? Look at the cute little cookies. We have a gingerbread family. Mommy, Daddy, and a little baby. What about that hot chocolate? It's a peppermint hot chocolate in a candy cane mug. And there's even a little candy cane sticking out. That is adorable. Wow, we went through all the 12 months. Now, can you tell me when you celebrate your birthday? Oh, that's so exciting. I hope you have a great birthday. Now we're going to go over all the months one more time. And we're going to count together. Are you ready? Let's begin. One for January. Two for February. Three for March. Four for April. Five for May. Six for June. Seven for July. Eight for August. Nine for September. Ten for October. Eleven for November. Twelve for December. Wow, we counted all the way till twelve. We have twelve months in the year. Good job, everyone. 
If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.